So how's the job? Good, thanks, yeah. New supervisor, Steve Haynes. He's on that TV show. Really? Good guy? He's okay. Well, it was nice to catch up. Same to you. The Underbelly of Paradise. Hey, Michael. David. Well, isn't this nice? You didn't tell me we were double dating. Sorry, guys. This barn hunk of love is all mine. <laughs> Brilliant! Steve Haynes, amigo, but you probably knew that already. Sorry, your name tag must have fallen off. Oh, duh! I love it! I, I, I gotta remember to write that down. <laughs> and to shoot you in your head, you annoying dick. <laughs> Andres, taking notes? This stuff? Whoa! Pure magic! I should put it on my show. Have you seen my show? You mean how to dress like a salesman on a cheap golf weekend at a third-rate country club? <laughs> so, well done with our uh, our friend, Mr. K. My pleasure. Uh, I love helping our government wage war, especially with itself. But you made a mistake. Did I, Cupcake? Why don't you keep your fucking voice down before I close your fucking windpipe? The joke stopped now, pal. You will show me and my team some respect. Maybe you could define team for me. Is that just the three of you? Or the greater FIB? Or the entire government? Because I'm tempted to argue that thus far, we haven't shown a lot of your colleagues a whole lot of respect. Then why don't you start with me, genius? You got it, pal. We have received intel that they're keeping Mr. K at the local agency station. I just dealt with that guy. The agency is stepping up their questioning because of your moronic antics down at the coroner's office. We need to get him out of there before he blabs. I did what Agent Norton said. Then I guess you getting involved with a clapped out old agent who's been living off of past glories was your first mistake. You are my boy now, amigo. My career depends on this. And that's very important to me. So seeing as we're all boys now, that makes it important to you. Now run along, kids. See, there you go, Dave. You can teach an old dog new tricks. Come on. Agent Steve Haynes, FIB Los Santos Division. Leave a message. Who the fuck is this? The guy keeping you out of the gas chamber. Townley's on his way. We need to talk face to face. Warehouse off Dutch London and Banning. Oh, we can do more than talk, my friend. The Santa. That's not the name in your file, Michael. Steve Haynes here. Yeah, Agent Douchebag. Hey, that poor son bitch we grabbed for you still breathing? See for yourself, right now. Trevor Phillips is on his way to help with the debrief. Warehouse off Dutch London and Banning. Great. Sounds just like my kind of party. See his face that last time I popped it. <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? You I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. He reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher! <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. You, hmm. where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the sleep best of the way from me. No, 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 Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. 
This okay. is Michael. And this, this is Trevor. No. Now, our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know. I already told nothing. Nothing. I don't know anything. Please. Please. Sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, high fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP, you know? So, You're a so. fucking spy. <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. So I need to know, what did you tell them, and what did they tell you? I, I, told, hmm? I told them what I tell you. Uh-huh. What? I... Hey! This whoa, 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 what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 no. Because I'm tired of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Let me go. All right, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know? Go for a drive. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. <laughs> Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait, what are you talking about, the wrong guy? No, who do you want? Just tell me what you want, huh, man? Huh, please, look at me, please. It's cooked. Quit it. Don't fry him completely. He's done. All right. We need him moderately coherent. You'll run out of juice. Don't kill him. <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. Why didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. I did his home theater. He lives in Chumash, right into the Western Highway. Oh, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash. The Western Highway. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh, no, no, please. I tell what? you what you Loosen want to him know. up. No, please. Can you please get to work on this guy? Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I've been ready to talk since the day I got kidnapped six weeks That's ago. That's what we were afraid of. No, I'm even so, more yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk. This guy we're after, what does he look like? Average Bill? Come on. Average height, middle age. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like you're stalling. This better be hair. enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark, okay? He's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit. I, 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 let me think. I... Oh, Sorry, too oh. late. Trevor, show our contestant what he's won today. Remember, okay. remember. The buzzer went. Oh, go at him. Not the rich. So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 please, no, 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 please, no, 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 he's got beer. Oh, he's got beer? He's got bushy beer. Uh-huh, I think you're making this up. No, no, I'm not. Huh? No. Yeah? No, tell the truth. Bushy beard? Got any beardy types at this party? Huh? Because that's all Mr. K's given us. No. You know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to just take two bullets and put them in our informant and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. He's a, he's got beer. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, Chim maybe one more time? Just to be sure. Oh, please, no. Uh -huh. I told you, he, he smokes. That's all I know. Hit him again. We got nothing to lose. It's so heavy. <laughs> Mr. K. Uh, I, 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 Mr. I K. I don't know anything. Please. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. He, he chain smokes. He, he's left handed. What's that? He, he chain smokes and he's left handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> and these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes. Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes. Thank you, Mr. K. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a racquetball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's a sport.
All right, the fuck is this bullshit? We handled your little immigration problem, whatever the fuck it was. We're straight. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. You killed people, you tortured people, committed a litany of other crimes. Oh, we're so straight, you and me. We're arrows. Davey, you can't do anything about this fucking turd? Yeah, Dave. What can you do about me? Here's Trevor. Gee, you right! Looky, looky, huh? A bunch of government shitbags and their favorite stoolie. What's he been telling you? Oh, he just said how you guys were happy to help the government in any way you can. Oh, really? Huh? Because I was told that if we helped out with that thing, which we did, then our past indiscretions would be forgotten in a haze of patriotic fervor. Who told you that? Did I tell you that? I'm in charge here, Fruity. Me! You understand? Uh, not quite. Well, can you explain that again? What I was saying! <laughs> oh, you're good. The three cunts! Listen. We need help with something else. Some of the government, some of it is pretty corrupt. Not, uh, not your bit, right? Yes, but we're corrupt in a good way. But the agency, they want to encourage panic so they can guarantee their budgets. That's how they get paid! It's a major problem. And now they've secured some... funds that we need to use in our fight against crime as a way of bribing corrupt officials. Really? And where are they getting that from? Drugs. Those bastards love to sell drugs. Who doesn't? We think they're gonna use this money to finance a war on our streets. And we need you boys to requisition that money for us. The bonds are leaving the terminal in an armored car. Yeah, fuck you, Dave. We don't have time to prepare the right way. <laughs> it's not my concern. I cannot allocate any more resources to this. You'll be fine. Fuck you, Dave. Look, I gotta ask, are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage, the cook site. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen, I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. A boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired. Sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made. Honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm! And a room full of you cunts! Yes! Woo! Welcome back, man! It is the old you! Yeah, 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 well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Jesus. Then why do you need the money? <laughs> All right, so... There's this research laboratory on the coast. The IAA are using it to manufacture a poison gas that they're gonna release on U.S. soil in order to hope that the government increases their funding. Well, that sounds idiotically improbable enough to be possible, but what's it got to do with you and Trevor sticking up the Blaine County Savings and Loan? Agent Steve Haynes needs two million plus to finance a raid on the lab. And guess who's doing the raid? And guess who's paying for it? Ah, I see. Hello? Townley's on the line, too. Hey, Trev. All right. I need your whole crew over at Cape Catfish. We're moving on the chemical weapons plant. Nah, 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 nah. I just gave something to Lester. I need to deal with some stuff, get back to Los Santos. Just, uh, give me a week. We got the equipment with your Polito money. The gangbanger's already on the way. The window's open, my friend, and you are jumping out of it. Shit. Shit. 
shit! Los Santos ain't going anywhere, bud. Agent Steve Haynes, man. Oh, look! Boys, your boys, it's the feds. Hey, where's the other three? What other three? We told you to bring along six. This is a six-man job. No, you didn't. Dave did? No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a frickin' lie! I do not get things wrong. All right, great. Then we're out of here. Uh, uh, fuck uh, uh, it. Uh, uh, Let's go. You three can do it alone. And I fuck you. You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. Hey, you want this job done? Then come with us, huh? Come on! Come on, mister! Leisure wear, Mr. Depressed Accountant. Let's go save America! Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? This is the real deal. My sources are convinced there's a plot in international affairs, you know, the agency, and they're using this facility to make a serious nerve toxin. Ah, <laughs> bullshit! Yeah, which they plan in their mind-blowing insanity to let a major terrorist release on a metropolitan area so they can continue to get funding. Nothing increases funding for fighting terrorism more than successful acts of terrorism. <laughs> so, so, all right, so let me get this straight then. No, 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 You're... no, 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 there is no getting it straight, that's the point. Now we're doing this! You two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. Michael, you're with us! What size flipper you wear? Agent Norton. Been a while since you were in the field. The sight of you in neoprene is something we save for our worst enemies. Shut up, I'll be fine. And you, get in. You're driving. Go down the coast. The facility's a few clicks south of us. Listen to me, Steve. No wisecracks, got it? No fucking cliches. We're fighting for the freedom of the people today. Don't lecture me on patriotism. You've been living outside the system too long. Social responsibilities, a joke to you. So maybe I redeem myself, get killed in the process, huh? That old bullshit. No one is dying on my watch. Not even the burnout bank robber with temper issues and nothing to live for. A hero's death is too good for you. You'll die in the ignominy you deserve. Oh, thank God. Fate shall carry me safe through these selfless acts of charity. This is the bay. We can get in through the discharge tunnel. Here goes! There'll be a grate over the outlet. Townley, you've got the cutter. When we get there, go to work punching through. Roger that. Okay, using the oxyhydro cutter on the grill. That's burning at over three and a half thousand degrees. Yeah, thanks for the science lesson. Can I keep this for the next vault I hit? You've got a limited supply of gas in the cutter, so get this right. So, you got any more little facts for me from the instruction manual? Thought you'd want some intel on the equipment we sourced using your hard-won funds. Ha! I figured it was all gonna go on a wardrobe full of windbreakers. Oh, and maybe some nipple clamps. That should do it. Find the access point. You sure this thing comes out where you think it does? The intel is good. We're a hundred yards out. Ah, I feel like I'm giving a colonoscopy to the Statue of Happiness. Nice change from being up Trevor Phillips' ass all day. You feel that? Water's getting warmer. You wet your pants, Davey? This is a cooling tunnel. Of course it's getting warmer. No one urinated. Uh, I know for a fact that that ain't true.
The problem with this job is I only get to know the criminals who are dumb enough to get themselves caught. Yeah, only I wasn't caught, remember? I turned myself in. He makes a point. That makes you doubly dumb. Dave, what's the plan? Hey, hey, hey. We locate the toxin and action our escape strategy. That's what we got. Great. Lead the way. Bank robber, set your phaser to stun. Hands up, you, now. Against the wall, quick. We gotta go, we gotta go. You, don't be a hero. Drop your weapon. You're making a big mistake, buddy. Action, the neuromuscular incapacitator, Mr. Townley. Okay! Now hit the elevator! So what exactly does a neurotoxin look like? Elevator coming! Body on board! Stay vigilant! Out! 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 Easy now! Easy now! Please! Don't! You got clearance? Give it up! Please don't hurt me! Give up your access card! Collect a swipe card! All right, we go. How you feeling about this? I'm feeling pretty damn fine. Yeah, if only your camera crew was here. Round to the right. Come on. We're fine. Move on. You see the lab gigs? I don't want trouble from these two. Put them up. I'm doing valuable research. You shot him. Don't sit there. Bring it to them. Behind the wall. Security detail about to make a pass. This is them. Take them out or let them go. They're gone. They've got some time. Swipe us in. Come on. Swipe us in. Exit. In with the toxin. Let's do this. You! You! Door! Now! You won't get in here. He's got the locking system overridden from in there. What's that? I'm on it! You! Hands up! Back up! Back up! And freeze! We get collateral! You might be safe, but Big Brain here isn't. Open! The special agents have the door. Go in there and secure our nerve agents. This will make me the most dangerous man in the country. I'm also the most shit scared. Oh, man. Thank you, federal government. Put the humanitarians to sleep, Michael. I will... Warning. Facility has been breached. Facility the has been breached. It's volatile. We need to get it into a refrigeration unit. Security alert. Security alert. Facility breached. It's gonna get heavy here. Use a real gun. Agency security. Let's keep moving. I'm through here. I don't want to be around when Michael takes a full instant test tube. Can we get a move on? Another guard. Poor bastard. Left! We need to be gone before the whole place gets shut down! Corridor goes around to the left! I don't want to be here either! Can we go? We gotta go! We gotta go! Another couple of guards! Protect the cargo! Move! Let's go! Look, look at the ass on that one! Final search! Let's get that hot sauce in the free, Joe! A 
distress signal will have been sent out. Expect reinforcements. That's what I need. I got a nerd fucking agent in my pocket and a battalion of soldiers on my ass. You hit me in the wrong place and we're all fucked. Come on, come on, come on. We cannot take chances. on ice. Refrigeration units in that container. Here we go. Get her on ice before the sell-by. <sighs> okay. Steady. Uh, easy does it, Em. Just as I was getting used to having the apocalypse in my pocket. There you go. Phillips is on his way. Good. Get this thing ready to move. I'm just a couple clicks out. Is the package ready? Package is ready. We missed the window! Agency response team's already in the building! It's never too late! We're going! Let's go! It's too risky, Bandito! That bird goes down and takes half the West Coast with it! You know what? If you're done puking up excuses, how about we come up with a solution? Okay, okay! All right, yeah, you go, I'll stay in cover! Fuck it, fine by me! And the dead bodies? I'm lucky I'm not one of them! Come on! Let's go! Special agent, I got this covered! Detain this man! Fuck you, I should detain you, I just took a bullet for my country! What happened back there? Where's Agent Haynes? Don't tell me we suffered casualties! Only self-inflicted ones! Fucking guy shot himself so he could pass as a double agent! Ah, well, maybe they'll debrief him with a 12-inch aluminum flashlight! Haynes took the easy way out. We're the ones hoping we'll outrun the agency response team. Maybe this time, Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. Hey, Davey, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Huh? You and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Thank God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen. This shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government <laughs> corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry. Because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some uh, evidence. And I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? Oh, no, no, that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey! It's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go! Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. Now, I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget, maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score, and we need something. I just spoke with Agent Haynes. We've got the budget to pull this off. Good. What do we do when he gets home? What do we need from him? We need cooperation, and maybe his overalls and an ID. And if he don't cooperate? You know what it's like to clean up shit for Steve Haynes? He'll cooperate. Weasel News. Fire in the FIB building linked to data theft. Several floors of the FIB headquarters in downtown Los Santos were gutted by a fire yesterday. Investigators believe the blaze was started by incendiary devices hidden at two points in the building. 
The FIB are linking the arson to their network being compromised after it was discovered that their emergency backup server is missing. In a press conference, senior agent Steve Haynes has vowed to find the criminals behind the theft. He will be heading up the investigation. Now you're going to do like you said and cut me loose, right? Things are not going to work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy, you could say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but... I'm fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career! Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Steve, oh, Steve, come whoa. on, please. You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well, then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him. Not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you! We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Put the gun down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather! What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. No! Oh, same goddamn leg! Go! Fuck! Bullshit. I'd be better off putting my sights on him. He's made it out of here, and there's another group of agents looking into our shit. Right now, you're not in the position to let our only friend in the bureau get killed. What happens to Haynes? Norton gonna pop him at the water cooler on Monday? I'm not popping Steve. Jesus. I'll get close to him and I'll try to control him. That's if we get out of here alive. You made it. Good. I saved you again, Davey. Again. So what are you gonna do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? We can pin most of it on Agent Sanchez. I get that story right and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? Try Merriweather. Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable, but not Trevor. Steve. He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him, calm him down. Just get me out. Oh! What's up, player? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no, something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey, when the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out to pasture, oh me. Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. What the feds, man? The feds have told me to kill Trevor. And I obviously can't kill them both. The feds. Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns in. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you're gonna, A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter. <laughs> Okay, I did it, all right? I know. Good dog. Look, man, Devin Weston came to talk to me. He wanted me to clap Michael and let Trevor go. Then you should have clapped both of them. Man, ain't it something you and Dave can do? Because he might be pissed, man. Dave can't do anything. Dave's lucky I let him do my paperwork. He's this close to discharge with no pension. Well, shit, is this something you can do? 
Sure, I can talk to Devin. He's licking his wounds after Meriwether lost their license to operate in the state. He might need a friend. Oh, yeah, okay, shit. I hear it could be real useful having an FIB agent looking out for you. Hey, your chips are cashed, pal. Don't contact me again. Or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife. Or C, try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. Who are the motherfuckers? Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. No, we just gotta silence a few noisy people. <laughs> Hell yeah, let me see, there's uh... Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes to start. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Check it! Oh! I want to die, that fucker, since the moment I met him. All right. I'm moving on Haynes. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! Grr, this is crap! Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this frame right? Mm, yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. Oh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. This is Los Santos. A city of celluloid. A city of scumbags. The last great American melting pot. Two parts diluted fantasy, one part degenerate reality. Mix. And this is the result. Throw in a senior FIB agent, and you've got a unique look of what's really going on under the hood. This is a land of dreams. But sometimes those dreams turn into nightmares. Stop! Cut! Cut. Oh, God, that's a cliché, man. Dreams, man, that's a cliché. What? No, I know it's really good. Just do a cutaway. No, I'll, I'll pick it up. No, I'll pick it up. I got something good. Ready? <clears throat> Rolling. Throw in a senior FIB agent, and you've got a unique look at what happens when dreams and reality collide. Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. I've tracked down killers, attacked incompetence, and taken down terror cells. And tonight, I'm in your living room. Boom. Got it. That was strong. That was good. Wasn't? That was really strong. Yeah, I liked it. Cool. Let's do it. Let's go home. Whoo! Where's that girl, man? Where's that hot little girl? I just saw her down there somewhere. What? Hold on. I don't care that she's an intern. <laughs> just get this thing going, all right? I want to get out of here. Boom. Oh my god! The guy! What's his name? He shot him! This is Weasel News. Celebrity FIB agent shot while shooting TV show. Popular TV host and FIB agent Steve Haynes was killed yesterday while shooting a segment of his show on the Del Perro Pier in a crime police are calling suspicious. Troy, get over here. A very important client is coming tonight. We need complete discretion. Hey, <laughs> you know me, Tone. Don't ask, don't tell. Military grade. Hey, this is serious. He's paranoid no one will buy his next CD if they know he'd rather be singing cabaret than rapping. As if people buy CDs anymore. Sure. Look, I really need to talk blah, to you, Tony. Blah, blah, blah. Another time, Troy. We'll be at Masonette. Hey, Louise, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, Troy? Tony inside? No, he's not here yet. Uh, did you talk to him? Who? Tony, about me. What about you? About me working here, man. I can't do it no more. I ain't queer, and it's doing my head in. 
Bro, you work for a guy whose nickname since 1985 is Gay Tony. Why do you give a fuck? Because I want to be married, man. You know, I want to have a nice life. I want to pick a fence in Alderney. I want to raise kids, play ball, you know, and look at me. Bro, I don't know what to tell you, man. Desi's the man of Mason, okay? This is the job we got for you. If you don't like it, fuck off, I guess. If you do, shut the fuck up and stop being a moron. Don't be like that, man. You know me. I'm an artist. I've got songs in me. Hello. Maybe if Tony could hear me sing, yeah, I, I, I'd yeah. be okay here. It's me. You're the fucking doorman, bro, not the cabaret. What's wrong with you? You're real tense, man. And you used to be cool. Hey, Troy! Hey, how's business? Luis, come on, let's go. Uh, pretty quiet. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> what is wrong with you people? Don't you know a good time when you see one? Jesus! When even the queens don't want to get wrecked, you know this city is turning into a fucking suburb! All right! Luis, get in the car. Gracie, sweetheart, in the back. Tony, can I have a word? No! No. Yo, hey, man. Hey, man. Tony inside? Uh, yeah, but can I speak to you for a minute? No, not really. No, it, it'll just take a minute, man. I really need you to speak to Tony. I did, and you can't move to Mason. Then. No, 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 man, not that. Not that. Guess what? I'm gonna be famous. Seriously. So? 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 Are you insane, man? What else matters? The production company here, man, belongs to one of the guys. They are gonna make a show about me. Me. I mean, they were gonna make one about this Puerto Rican guy in Bohan, but he disappeared. Now, they're gonna make a show about me. Bro, you spend every night standing here in the exact same spot. It's very stressful, man. But it's got it all. Think about it. Drama, action, sex, love. It's got everything. And they're all going to shoot it through the eyes of, of, of a tough Maybe guy with a heart. Here. Yeah, I'm sure. And it sounds all like fantastic entertainment. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got to get back down to earth. Okay, if you could excuse me also. Hey, 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 hey. Did I say yeah, next? You said I was next, man. You hey, listen, man. Get you back to life. You said I was next. Yeah, you know what? We're full. Fuck you. You said I was